don't know how good the light shows. Looks like it's picking up okay. I had Lily Bun's rabbit rabbit rescue come here, and they were trying to catch a rabbit. Now this floor was all fixed, and uh, granted, I mean it wasn't in the best shape, but this is the condition that they left my barn in. And didn't bother to tell me I come out here to shut my my barn my garage barn up, and. Uh, this is the way that it was left. There was also some uh, litter pellets, bags of pellets thrown in that hole there. Now I'm all for rabbit rescues. I don't like to see little animals get, get injured or be neglected or anything like that. But this is a caution, this is a warning about some of these rabbit rescues. I called them because I had too many rabbits I couldn't take care of them. And I didn't realize that during the uh, the proceeds of this that they were going to unknowingly well not only leave this kind of a disaster of my of my barn but it, it went a lot deeper than this. Uh, Lily Bun's rabbit rescue also unknown to me took took photographs of the inside of my house and I, without my permission posted them on their Facebook page and I did not appreciate that I got one of the sites to take them down they shared them with all the other rabbit rescue places and then on top of that bashed me basically on on their Facebook page about my rabbits and stuff and I, I really think that's dirty so um, Again, while I'm all for, you know, protecting animals and loving rabbits and taking care of them, which, which I have for years, I, I don't recommend to, to utilize these, these rabbit rescues. And, and I say that with pain inside me because I trusted them and, and they did me this way. I'm never going to do that again. I mean, uh, I, I will never use a, a rabbit rescue again. So... It's just really dirty what they did. Well, the other thing too is that uh, I didn't realize that while uh, they were getting the rabbits in the house, that they were going to basically go into every room. Um, there was total disregard when I kindly asked them to not get near the equipment. Uh, I was afraid they were going to run into the racks, uh, you know. And hit things and I just kindly asked them to please you know step away from the racks and they got defensive with me got mad also took one of the rabbits I didn't really want to let go of I was kind of given the uh, the uh, sympathy issue about the rabbit being sick and I just had it to the vet and I don't think that the rabbit was and Anyway, I did not give full permission for the rabbit to be taken, but it was it was taken to they they walked out of the house with it. Uh, anyway, uh, I just kind of feel that that my rights were violated. On top of that, disagreement in, ensued after the rabbit catch inside, and I asked them to leave. The next day, I, I tried to contact them, and the woman got mad at me, but uh, she decided to block me on on. Uh, the Facebook against Lily Bun's rabbit rescue so I could not contact her anymore even removed my my like of the page so I had no means to ask them to please take pictures down or anything like that so this was my experience I mean there's rabbit rescues all over the United States and I'm not saying that all of them's bad I mean I'm in touch with one of the others that was actually here helping and they were decent to me and are decent to me at this point so but I would just be very cautious you know if you have rabbits that need rescued I know it's kind of a damned if you do damned if you don't situation if you've got too many like what I had or whatever but honestly it's not worth having your house taken pictures of and posted all over the internet to show you know how miserably dirty you are or poor you are you know and it caused a lot of post-traumatic stress disorder for me and you know 
I'm just getting the word out there to be cautious because you, you just don't know these people, you know, what they're going to do. This has been traumatic. I, you know, I feel like my home has been violated. So no apologies or anything. So, you know, if you have rabbits that need to be gotten rid of, I mean, don't, don't take them and have them butchered or hurt or turn them loose or anything like that. You know, try to, try to find somebody that will take them and love them. You know, that's kind of the way I was trying to be. You know, I didn't want to take them and have them auctioned off or something like that and have them butchered. So, anyway, just a little word of caution in my experience.